life is already way better if there's a dog involved in all aspects of it. And there's not one time that I've ever been like, I wish my dog wasn't here. Like, I always want her with me, so it's awesome. She's had that basketball since she's a puppy. My name is Kayla Lockhart. I am based out of Portland, Oregon, by way of Minnesota, and I am a fly fishing angler. My focus is, is getting more people into the sport, making it more inclusive and accessible to everyone. And right now we are in Montana. We're on Salish and Kootenai native lands, and we're gonna do a little fishing while we're here. I've always, 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 always wanted a dog. I had dogs growing up, but it took forever to convince Casey to get a dog. He was against getting a dog though. He just couldn't see how it would fit into our lifestyle. And I was like, it'll work. And so as soon as he gave me, all right, it has to be healer. That night I was like looking online everywhere. And then I woke up at like six in the morning the next day and I went to Craigslist again, refreshed it. And I was like, oh my God, there's one left. It's two hours away. So I woke him up. I was like, let's go, I, got, I found a blue healer, two hours away, I already reserved it, like, we're out of here. Literally within 24 hours, I already found a dog. I waited a little bit to bring her out on the water, but then when she was like 12 weeks, I think is when I started bringing her on the rivers with me, and I didn't know what to expect, because like, it could have been terrible, it could have been great, but I just assumed that she was gonna be like, chaotic and just ruining all the fishing, but, it's been incredible. She's just like my little sidekick. <laughs> <That's the wrong laughs> she travels with me everywhere I go, like floating the Grand Canyon with me and going to Nova Scotia and going to Minnesota. She's been on a skiff in Louisiana now. Like she's been so many places. Having her on the river is incredible and I'll be fishing and hook up on a fish and be all excited. I look back and she's barking at me and I'm clapping and hollering and we have this like weird little like <laughs> celebration between me and her, which is pretty cool to have with your dog. And then there's days where I'm like, I get upset and she'll like come up and like lick my face. And I'll be like, oh, you're right. Like, it doesn't matter if I get skunked. Like, thanks for reminding me, like, it's fine. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, he wanted to go. So pretty much my, my mental history, I mean, it's hard because I'm 32 and I didn't know really what mental health awareness was growing up. I didn't know what anxiety was. I didn't know what depression was. And I've had panic attacks my entire life. Like, I just didn't know what they were. I just thought that it was like, this is just how I cry. I literally thought that for the longest time until I evolved and grew as a human and figured out like, oh, this is actually a diagnosis that I can get help with. And fishing has been something that has been a huge catalyst for me to like have some more self-awareness, look inward, all that stuff and heal and go to talk therapy, if you will, without saying a word is like my favorite way of putting it. But now that I have a resource to help cope with it has been a beautiful thing. And when we got Juniper, I didn't realize she was like my second catalyst to also get me out of those down days and funks and whatever you want to call it. But I mean, if you experience those, like there's days where like I physically don't feel like I can get out of bed. There's nothing in me that has any motivation and it's a really dark thing to go through. And so when you find something that can, I guess, do that for you, it's an incredible feeling. And, it, and if you don't experience it, you won't understand it. But if you do, you do understand it. And so having Juniper where she comes up and she knows too, like it's incredible how instinctual they are. Like if I'm having anything, like if I'm upset, if I'm angry, if I'm sad, like she can navigate all of that. And I can also with her, like I know when she is wild up and wants to go play. And so we speak to each other without knowing the same language, which is pretty incredible to have. I mean, there's
there's tons of things that Juniper's taught me, but at the end of the day, the biggest lesson I've learned of having Juniper, it's to be more present and like in the moment. And that's something that I'm not the greatest at. Like I'm constantly either thinking of sometimes like something that happened two years ago and reliving that situation in my head where, and then she'll like bark and I'll be like, oh yeah, yeah, what are we doing again? Like, so she's, she makes me more present. Like whether that means like a routine and like getting up, feeding her, going on a walk and just being in that moment itself. And that's been the best lesson with her is those moments where we're just experiencing something together. And we're both present in that moment is like the best feeling in the in the world. And so I try to try to remind myself all the time, like, okay, Juniper would be hyped right now if she was in this moment. And so I, anytime I find myself getting salty or moody, I just remind myself like, what would Juniper be like right now? And she'd be happy always. Mm -hmm.